Okay, this lesson we'll be doing unit 2.1 um, of the IT theory LB grade 10. Okay, so unit 2.1 they speak about data representation. So data representation refers to the form in which data is stored, processed and transmitted. Um, digital devices store data using binary number systems. Okay. So, you can combine several of bits, which is zeros and ones, and if you combine 8 bits together, it is called a byte. So, a byte can represent any number between 0 and 255. Here is just a bit of information, um, which you need to know. Okay, so 8 bits is 1 byte. 1024 bytes is 1 kilobyte, 1024 kilobytes is 1 megabyte, 1024 megabytes is 1 gigabyte, and then 1024 gigabyte is 1 terabyte, and then 1024 terabytes equals 1 petabyte. Okay, so just know this information. <coughs> Okay, so then unit 2.2 .2 is number systems. So this is basically the conversion of the number systems we did in class, like converting a decimal to a binary and a binary to a hexadecimal and so forth. Okay, but let's start just from the top a bit revision. Okay, so decimal number systems as the base of 10. So the numbering systems are we use is called decimal system because of that prefix deci that means 10 so just remember deci 10 means base of 10 and obviously there are 10 numbers in the decimal system which ranges from 0 all the way to 9 okay so it's not 1 to 10 it's 0 to 9 okay so the binary system has the base of 2 and the prefix by is kind of where it has the meaning of 2 as in bicycle, uh, biplane, bilingual etc and the two numbers here is 0 and 1 so not 1 and 2 but 0 and 1 okay so it's just a how to count in binary um, so converting from binary to uh, decimal okay so here's a few steps but I'm just gonna do this example of to convert the binary one one zero 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 one one uh, you can see it's the base of binary here at the bottom to a decimal number okay so first of all we're gonna start by writing out our binary number next we're gonna give this place values so we're gonna start from the right hand side and move to the left okay but first we're gonna start with 2 to the power of 0 2 to the power of 1 2 to the power of 2 2 to the power of 3 etc till we get to the last column okay then we can go and say from the left side we can go and say okay so let's take 1 times 2 to the power of 7 which is actually 128 so 1 times 128 and then equals 128 then we can add 1 times 64 is 64 then we can add okay so 0 times 3 2 remains 0 so we don't have to do that one 0 times 16 is 0 so we don't have to do that one 0 times 8 we don't have to do that one 0 times 4 is 0 we don't have to do that thing okay then we get to 1 times 2 is 2 so we're going to add that to our answer and then 1 times 1 is 1 so we're going to add that then all together we have 128 plus 64 plus 2 plus 1 and that gives us an, a total of 195 so we know 11000011 in binary is 195 in decimal okay then 
converting from the decimal to a binary there's also a few steps I'm gonna do this example over here okay so let's say we have the number 37 that we want to convert into binary okay a very simple way is to firstly begin with your um, powers okay so take your base so we want to convert it to a binary so begin with 2 to the power of 0 okay so then you're gonna go 2 to the power of 1 2 to the power of 2 until your total or 2 to the power of 2 equals 4 and until that number is greater than the number you are converting so if you go 2 to the power of 3 is 8 is 8 bigger than 37 no so then we carry on 2 to the power of 4 equals 16 is that greater than 37 no it's not so then we go 2 to the power of 5 equals 32 is that bigger than 37 no it's not so we carry on 2 to the power of 6 is 64 is that greater than 37 yes it is so then we can just basically stop there and delete that one okay so then we're gonna start with the last one we got 2 to the power of 5 which is 32 okay so what we want to do here is we want to see okay let's take 37 divided by 32 how many t or how many times was 32 going to 37 for simple sake so it goes into uh, 37 one times and then we have a remainder of 5 then we ask okay so our new number is 5 How, can 16 go into 5 no it can't so we place a 0 how many times does 8 go into 5 it does not so it's 0 how many times does 4 go into 5 ah so we've got 1 times 4 can go into 5 1 times and what is left over so 5 minus 4 is 1 so 1 is left over so then we go and say how many times can 2 go into 1 it's 0 and how many times can 1 go into 1 it can go into 1 1 times so that will be our binary 1 0 0 1 0 1 okay quite straightforward okay then activity 2.2 we can just do 2.2.3 and 2.2.4 a to f <coughs> okay next up we've got the hexadecimal okay so hexadecimal goes f it has 16 numbers so it has to the base of 16 it goes from 1 to 9 and when it gets to 10 it actually gets replaced by an A and then 11 becomes B 12 becomes C 13 D 14 E and 15 F okay quite easy okay so here they explain again a few ways how you can convert I'm gonna stick to this example um, so to convert the hexadecimal decimal, hexadecimal number to BC, and we can see it's to the base of 16, to a decimal number. Okay, so first off, write what you have. So we've got 2, we've got B, we've got C. Okay, we need to convert that to a decimal. So converting to a decimal, I'm going to take my next step which is my place value so I'm going to start from the right hand side at 16 to the power of 0 16 to the power of 1 16 to the power of 2 then I'm just going to simply go from my left hand side and say okay 2 times 16 to the power of 2 which is uh, 256 that will equal to 512 so take that and then you add um, B which if we remember from above B is 11 so I'm gonna take 11 times uh, 16 to the power of 1 is 16 so that equates to 176 so I'm gonna add that to my answer and then lastly I'm gonna take C which is 12 and I'm gonna multiply that by 16 time uh, to the power of 0 which is 1 so 12 times 1 equals 
12 so and then just add all of these totals together 512 plus 176 plus 12 and that equates to 700 thus 2bc equals to decimal number 700 okay now to convert from a decimal to a hexadecimal okay so here's a few samples um, let me stick with this one okay so I'm just gonna skip to the bottom and I'll explain in my own words okay <coughs> so here again what we want to do is we want to take a decimal convert it into a hexadecimal okay so first off we're gonna say 16 to the power of 0 is 1 is 1 greater than 94 no it's not Okay, then we move on. 16 to the power of 1 equals 16. Is 16 greater than 94? No, it is not. Then we go to the next step. Okay, 16 to the power of 2 equals 256. Is that greater than 94? Yes, it is. So, we're just going to scratch this one out and we will be working with the last one. Okay, so that is 16 to the power of 1 equals 16. Okay. So this step, what we want to do is see how many times does 16 go into 94. Okay, so we can take 94, divide by 16, equals 5. Okay, so we're going to write here 5. Okay, then we're going to see, okay, but we now want to see the difference. So then we're going to go 5 times 16 will be 80. And then 94 minus 80 should be 14. Okay, so that is our remainder. So now you just ask yourself, okay, how many times does 1 go into 14? And that is 14 times. And if we can remember, if we replace 14 with the letter, we will get E. So our answer would be 94 decimal would be 5E in hexadecimal and that is it for the conversions okay activity 2.3 2.3.5 a to d 2.3.6 a to d 2.3.7 a to d and then we get to um, primitive data types so you can read just this above this is basically impractical all of our data types we do so if we look at a bo boolean it is for true or false it can have a true false one or zero yes or no an integer is any positive or negative whole number so that would be one two five nine negative twenty etc a float or we call it a double refers to any number with a decimal value so 82.3, a 0 0.9, negative 10.5, etc. Okay, next up we've got char. So a char is a data type that can store a single character. This includes letters, numbers, and symbols. As you can see, uh, A or 5 or uh, exclamation mark or at or small letter A, etc. And then the last one we have is a string. So a string refers to several characters, letters or numbers. They are surrounded by quotation marks uh, to show where they begin and end. And it can, it can basically contain all of the above. So for example, it can have a telephone number 0811111 whatever. It can contain hello world. It can contain a name, Maria Maseko, etc. Okay, and then just lastly, to activity 2.4 so 2.4.1 all the way to 2.4.5 it's just a, a multiple choice question basically and then just 2.4.6 all of the questions and 2.4.7 all of the questions okay